Hey everybody, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. Tonight I am smoking my my Aldo Villani. It's a beautiful pipe that I got from Happy Smoking 100. And in it I have vintage velvet from 1978 so it's 40 40 year old vintage velvet that I got from the Artful Codger to try out and it's incredible it is truly incredible stuff so good that I bought a tin of, of the new velvet But I agree with Sergeant Savinelli. They're two different things. They are not the same tobaccos. I mean, maybe if I let the other one sit for 40 years, it'll taste like this. I very well could. I don't know. But they have a, this one has a different taste altogether to me. I get this slight licorice hint from the vintage velvet. I don't get from the new velvet so I don't know I don't know I don't know what to tell you guys but Ben I'd like to hear your thoughts on that John Meadows if you've tried both kind um, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it as well if you've had a chance to, to sample both of them So it's uh, Sunday night, and uh, it's been a, been a rough 10 days here, I'll tell you that. But uh, things are going better. Things will get better. I'm going in Tuesday to see a specialist, Tuesday morning. Hopefully that will get uh, we'll get some information and we can start working from there to get these migraines figured out. It's a little better today. It is a little better today, so I'm thankful for small steps. So I was watching uh, Eric the Blue Collar Pipe Smokers video today where he did a, uh, he removed the finish from the Dr. Grabo that he had in, a, in another pipe. And the results came out, I thought it came out great. Um, I think I'm going to try that with this one. The the uh, some of the finish is flaking off on this pipe, so I think I'm going to remove the finish and any stain that might be on there, and then use some of that um, feed and wax put on it. See how that looks, and then wax it up with the buffer. gotta go find the feed and wax and, and get the buffing pads for my my buffer so I have clean pads for it this is an incredibly good smoking pipe and I really uh, have been enjoying this is a this is a good pipe for walking around. My wife and I have gone on some walks when I 
go in the lock, I would use this pipe because it just sits perfect on my face. And it's a very, a very light pipe. And it's got a fairly small bowl to it, which I'm kind of getting into the smaller bowls. Most of the pipes I have are larger bowls, and I kind of like, uh, especially like after work when it's you know two o'clock in the morning, I like to come out and just have a you know a quick smoke and so the smaller bowls work better for that than using a big giant bowl and sitting out here for an hour and 15 minutes. This pipe really smokes good. Happy smoking 100. Thank you so much for this pipe. It's, it's amazing. Vintage velvet. Just the taste is incredible of this stuff. I, I, I wish you could still get this same vintage velvet. I know Ben's probably going to tell me it's exactly the same, but it doesn't taste the same. Maybe it's the 40 years on it. I don't know. But I don't get the same taste from current vintage velvet compared to 40 year old velvet not to say that it's not good the, the current velvet is delicious tobacco it's great tobacco but completely different taste than this there's, there's a something in this one that I don't get in the other one to thank Peace Piper Nathaniel thank you so much for uh, posting your video for healing of the Psalms for migraines I truly appreciated that very much sir thank you my friend Anyway, that's all I have to say tonight, so maybe I'll catch you guys later on tonight. It's still early in the evening, so I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.